Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to be sharing with you our updated 4334 custom tactics and why we think this is one of the best attacking formations in the game. So if you're someone that really struggles with attacking, this is definitely a formation that you need to try if you want to create more chances and score more goals. So as always, show your support, please hit the like button, subscribe, but most importantly, hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when we release new content. So the 4-3-3-4 is a great formation to attack in. We think it's one of the best in the game. It's just such a fun attacking forward thinking formation, especially, especially if you play it in the right way with the tactics and instructions we've got set up. So like we said, if you're someone that struggles to score goals, create chances, this is a formation you need to try. Now a little side note before we get into the instructions and tactics, you may find this formation leaves you a little bit open off, uh, defensively, but that's because we want to be really attacking. Want to be, you know, if you're someone that's struggling to score goals, you obviously are playing too defensive, so you need something a little bit more forward thinking. So it may leave you a little bit exposed defensively from time to time. There's just a little disclaimer before we go into the tactics. So as you can see with the tactics, this is what we use. And we go for balanced on the defensive style, of course. We don't recommend playing on a press ever. And we've gone for 40 width because we think narrow width, especially defensively, is far more important. You want the lines. You don't want there to be any space between the lines. You're happy for people to have the ball out wide, out near the corner flags. That's perfectly fine because it's less threatening out there at the moment. So you'd rather be a lot more narrow, have the middle of the pitch compact and be hard to break down there. In terms of depth, we think 60 is about the maximum that you want to play. And we would recommend anywhere from about 55 to 60. If you're someone that finds that this is a little bit too offensive, then we'd recommend knocking it back down to 55. But we think 60 is a good sweet spot. If you're someone that's very confident in possession, you don't give up the ball a lot. You've, you have like high possession, high pass actually, you can get away with 60. If you're someone that does give the ball away a lot and maybe is a little bit too eager with your passing, then you need to play a little bit deeper because if you have lots of the ball, it doesn't really matter if your depth is high or low or what it is. But if you're someone that's not great, you give the ball away a lot because you're going to get countered loads if you're just giving the ball away all the time. So it's better off being slightly deeper. In terms of the build-up play, of course, we like on balance. We think this is much better. Again, this is really more suited to people that are very good at passing because you don't need the AI to do as much of the work for you. But the direct passing makes this formation what it is. You know, obviously, everybody's in a more attacking position anyway. Obviously, wingers, striker, cam, two midfielders, not DMs like a lot of formations have. It's just very on the front foot. So you have lots of players you know, the, the two midfielders, the cam, the strikers, the wings, all six of those players make runs in behind. And that's why getting countered can happen in this formation because all six of those players run in behind. But that's what makes it so easy to attack in because you have so many options. You just have so many players running forwards and it's just impossible not to pick out an open body and an open player so it's just such a fun formation to attack him and then offensive width we've gone for 65 you do need to obviously utilize the width in this formation obviously you're going to have speedy wingers so you need to be using that using them you know both horizontally and vertically you need to be able to stretch the pitch in both directions in behind and on the out wide so it's you know it's recommended that around 65 you don't want to go super narrow but you can't go too wide because then it kind of negates having the defensive width at 40 you know you want to be obviously tough to break down when you're out of possession as well and then players in the box we've got on five because we want the instructions to really dictate who goes where and corners on three and free kicks on one although these three are more preference based rather than must do so now before we continue, if you want us to make more videos like this, then make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you comment below right now with any other thoughts and questions and videos you'd like to see going forwards. So let's get into the instructions. So now, of course, as we go into the instructions, keeper as always is going to be on sweep keeper and the two centre backs, of course, are going to be on stay back while attacking as well as the full backs. These guys need to be on stay back while attacking because that front six is going to be going forwards and doing most of your attacking. It's just non-negotiable. You have to have the whole back four staying back. Um, and obviously you don't want fullbacks getting out of position. You need to make sure you, you're tracking back with your midfielders. That is so important. I can't stress that enough in this formation. You really need to track back with your midfielders, track back with everybody. Don't touch your defenders. You can't afford to drag them out of position. Otherwise, you'll, you'll start conceding goals like crazy. In terms of those two midfielders, obviously uh, Goretzka and Valverde, both of them need to be on balanced attack and stay on edge of the box. The balanced attack is because obviously they're going to be on direct passing, so they're going to ignore if you put them on stay back while attacking and they're going to make runs forward. So you may as well have them on balanced attacking so they have a better starting position. And if stay on edge of the box, we don't want them going into the box just in case, you know, 
any counterattacks do arise, we do need them to sort of stay in a decent position so that they can break it up. Maybe we can make a foul before that starts. And that's another thing that's really important. Just that would just be aware to make tactical fouls, obviously in transition, just to stop any counterattacks if you feel like you're going to be exposed at the back. In terms of that central cam, we just need them on getting to the box. It's really important. I actually found that when I was playing in this, your central cam gets most of your goals and assists. So probably your best player needs to play in this position because generally they're the one that seems to be in the position to score and assist all the time. So it's really important your best player sits in this position. And then, of course, with your top striker, Lewandowski is great for me. I can make him work in any formation. But most people are going to have someone with pace, with power, with skill, you know, with, with high dribbling. So, of course, you need to stay, in behind, you need, uh, stay central and get in behind. Pairs up very, very well with the direct passing, obviously making those runs in behind. And then, of course, the wingers. This is where it gets quite complicated. Obviously, we've got a lot of instructions, so we're going to run through that right now. Get into the box is pretty self-explanatory. You need them bodies getting into the box, especially the wingers. So when one wing is on the ball, other one wants to be getting in there just for any scraps that come by. Deep cross to the back post, you know, drilled cross to the back post, or just any scraps that fall his way. Of course, the getting behind is super useful as well. And we've gone for balance width again because I don't want them on anything else. I want them to be able to play both roles. I need them to stay out wide sometimes, so, so then it forces your opponent to use his fullback and come out and press you but then sometimes you want him to drift inside when obviously Goretzka's on the ball you're going to slide a through ball in let's say on the right hand side between the right back and the right center back you need Dembele in there to be able to obviously get on the end of those passes so obviously utilize that speed in behind and the direct passing but we're going to come back on defense and this is just so that you have a little bit more protection when you're out of the ball obviously it's quite an attacking formation uh, it does mean that you're going to have to have really good super subs. You need, especially in the midfield and especially on the wings, you need to have good subs because these guys are going to get knackered because of the amount of running they have to do between both boxes. Obviously, the midfield is running from attacking to defending and the, and the wingers running from, obviously, at the top end of the pitch, running in behind and then running all the way back to get on the comeback on defense. So you need to have good super subs. So that is it for our tactics for this 4-3-3-4 and we think this formation is great. If you're someone that struggles to attack, we know a lot of people do struggle with attacking or defending or one of the two. Generally, people struggle. We find that come to our videos struggle a lot more with attacking than defending. So if you're struggling to score goals, struggling to create chances, try this formation out. It's mainly a formation that we use really if we're sort of down in a game, we're down late on in a game, 1-0 down, 2-0 down. We just need to go aggressive, we need to change something. We find that this is a great formation to do that in, so we recommend giving it a go. So as we said earlier in the video, if you want to continue to make more videos like this, then we do need your support. So make sure that you smash the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notifications bell so that you know when we release new content. And if you do want to ask us any questions, make sure you join our Discord. The link to everything is down in the description. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.